वेलकम बैक टू चैनल टेक द बो होप यू आर ऑल फाइन टुडे वी गोन सी थ्री जी बिजनेस पर पीपल माइड हैव सीन द प्रोडक्ट अक्रॉस मार्केट बाय दिस टाइम इट्स अ सेमी कुकड रेडीमेड चपाती रेडीमेड चपाती एंड सेमी कुक चपाती इज समथिंग विच आर अवेलेबल ऑन द शेल्फ अक्रॉस द मार्केट वेर यू कैन बाय दम एंड रेडली कुक दैम और प्री हीट दैम इन अवेन और इन थावा in order to consume it recent times has seen a great demand for this product just because people are almost working and they, every member in the family has started to contribute towards the economy of the family and that's why they find find it hard to prepare and cook things at the home so but still they have that craze and they have the uh, consciousness in order to go for a homemade food so they'll uh, predominantly and frequent for this particular product so that they can procure it and immediately cook it at the houses so for doing this business you may have to invest on certain things like few machineries and that can be like semi automatic fully automatic or manual machines depending on the capability or the production capacity you're looking for you may have mm. to invest like 5000 to 1 lakh and 50000 rupees for this so approximate costing is depended on the Uh, factors which involved in the machine the features uh, which are provided the automatic is going to cost you on the higher scale and the manual is something which is of a least cost and the semi automatic is is like in between as a mediocre so you can go for whichever is feasible and whichever is uh, required for you in order to perform this business in order to make this you may require the uh, wheat dough like wheat flour has to be made into a dough and that has to be made into small balls and then the chapatis has to be prepared it's all like uh, in, in approximate calculation in 1 kg of dough you will be 1 kg of flour uh, you can make up to 33 chapatis uh, at least like 30 grams of uh, balls and you will be able to get 33 chapatis all you have to do is just insert the ball prepare it and then pack and sell them it's all like you have to look for shops wholesale markets supermarkets and then restaurants in order to market this product you can pack them as 10 chapatis in each packet and the market cost for this product is 55 rupees in order to give the margin for the resellers you may have to cost them little lesser which we can uh, fix it approximately like 50 rupees and the profit calculations when you supply for the shops it's like per kg of wheat flour is going to cost you 25 rupees and the making cost which involves electricity labor packaging marketing and then the transportation uh, along with the other things involved uh, it's going to somewhere cost you like 20 rupees uh, you know for each kg so all together that's like 45 rupees uh, for that you you're going to get like 33 chapatis and when you're packing it 10 10 in pack in each packet it's going to give you like three packets though three chapatis are excess i'm just having it as a uh, plus or minus depending on the scenarios and situations there may be some ruptures which i don't want to take as a in depth calculation perhaps that that could be an additional benefit on top of what is being calculated so 30 chapatis like three packets uh, in 1 kg so you can make like three packets would costing would be like 50 each and it's going to give you like 150 rupees all together and that's the that's the selling price and the making cost is 45 rupees for this 1 kg including the packaging all those stuffs and the margin would be like 105 rupees for per kg and if i split that so that will be like 35 rupees profit for each packet so your target should be like the sales oriented sales point of view you have to explore the market you have to sell as much as possible in an average scale you can target for like 50 packets per day that's quite obvious if at all you concentrate for wholesale uh, supermarket stores stores and super stores where you find lot of floating populations this product is going to literally move like anything in the shelf so you can target for 50 is the least thing and you can target more you can scale up depending on your uh, potential of productivity and the marketing ability so that will go that will give you some profit somewhere like 1750 rupees each day say for example for per packet you are getting 35 rupees so that is how this particular margin is going to be 
and for second option it's the restaurant supply restaurants are something somewhere where uh, these kind of products like the chapatis ready to ready made chapatis are going to sell like anything because people always consistently buy these this product uh, as a dinner like they predominantly consume this as a uh, dinner basis and you can look for uh, mediocre little to higher level of uh, uh, restaurants because they going to charge somewhere like 15 to 20 rupees each chapati after cooking so you're going to give little bit lesser compared to what you sell for the shops because shops are something who going to resell it and restaurants are somewhere who they going to cook and then give it so in order to have them little bit of good margin you have to fix the cost somewhere like 3 rupees 50 paise for per chapati so there you're going to concentrate like 5 rupees for you're going to fix like 5 rupees for each chapati here it's 3 rupees 50 paise though you are reducing the margin you have to scale up the actual selling ability you have to scale up the number of restaurants you are selling because restaurants are somewhere you are going to sell on a large scale it's not that uh, if you are going to give for a reseller 10 packets a day restaurant is is a place where you can sell uh, at least like 20 to 25 packets equal level of chapatis because they going to sell it again cook it and sell it so that's how it's going to happen so you have to target such restaurants where the movements are high and then the uh, purchases are made on a higher scale and who, who, whichever is on the prime locations on on the uh, like very frequented by various uh, group of populations that has to be technically analyzed by you in order to make the marketing uh, uh design the marketing tactics and then to go about it so if at all you make this calculation for 33 chapatis which are made from per kg you're going to charge them like 115 rupees and 50 paise uh, for making again you're going to spend like 42 rupees just 42 rupees and your margin for per kg would be 73 rupees 50 paise so again each chapati is going to make you a profit of 2 rupees 20 paise after everything approximately So okay, so in a day you have to target for five hundred to thousand. There you're going to target for specific fifty packets, which is nothing but two fifty. And here you have to look for five hundred to thousand. As I said, uh, restaurants are places where you can uh, bulk sell them, sell in bulks. Perhaps you have to look for more number of restaurants coverage based on the prime location, based on the location, selling ability, flooring population capacity, and then the purchase. uh like approximate purchasing uh, counts those things has to be analyzed before you look for a restaurant you can go for a chain of restaurants so so that you can have an arrangement or agreement for regular supply with them and fast food chains hotels everything wherever you can explore the market wherever you can sell them at a competitive prices after analysis you can do that and this option would result you somewhere like 1100 rupees to 2200 rupees per day i'm just having it as a approximate scale uh, based on the margins which you fluctuate so in both the options it's going to be a huge profitable business perhaps the monthly profit for uh, performing the shop option would be somewhere like 71250 rupees approximately so for the shops again you're going to sell uh sell at least like 50 packets that's going to give you a margin of 1750 and uh, per day you'll be making somewhere like 2850 rupees okay so here you're going to let 1100 and here you're going to get 1750 that will be like 2850 and for 25 days i'm just calculating for 25 and sundays are where uh, the prime selling point is going to happen And absolutely, that can uh, multiply or triplicate or even quadruplicate uh, at times. That depends on the region and the uh, buyers, whoever you have acquired for, and whoever your people and how much ever the order you have acu- ac- accumulated. So that is how it's going to work. In approximate scale, this will be a profitable business. I believe I've covered enough of informations here. And in order to perform this business, obviously, yes, you have to go for FSSI. and don't forget to do that and i've given a description link uh, about the machinery's requirements and the machinery's options you can cross check them and if at all you have some other reference please go ahead with that this is just a reference purpose link i believe i've covered enough of information here just if at all you got any doubts or you want something to be stated please let me know in the comment section i'll be looking forward for that thanks for spending your time give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you are a new subscriber 
like if you are a new viewer just subscribe to my channel not to support me thank you so much bye